Okay. Our journey begins at the corner of Sterling Manor and Stepping Stone Way at the Recreation Center. We're going to go down to the supermarket. We're going to show you the places we can go by bicycle or by walking or we often go by golf cart. Um, we go to the supermarket on our golf cart all the time. And we're gonna, just going to show you uh, the neighborhood. This is Glenlock Farms. The suburb is called Spring, Spring, Texas. We're northwest, northwest of Houston. The highway noise in the background is the Grand Parkway. These are loblolly pines. These are wax myrtles. Those are pistache trees. That's live oak, crepe myrtle. Savannah holly, Australian bottle brush, Washington fan palm. Crape Myrtle, Indian Hawthorn. Okay. Okay. Norham Manor, Norham Manor and Glenlock Forest Drive. And we're approaching the HEB. Supermarket. There's the CVS Pharmacy. We've reached a point where we let the kids take the golf cart by themselves to get themselves a Sprite or an ice cream bar. This HEB supermarket, we are lucky we got a really nice one. Not many people ride their golf carts to it. We park over on the other side when we go. Anyway, it's a really nice HEB. Look at the wind whipping that weeping willow. Yeah, the wind has been insane. It kicked up a couple hours ago. Sometimes just for fun, I'll take the kids through the drive-thru at Taco Bell. There's Popeyes. There's the pet supermarket. We take the golf cart to go pick up some uh, dog food sometimes. And we're in a coronavirus lockdown. We went to Mod Pizza just to pick up once. But we haven't. They do have a little bit of outdoor seating so you can you can ride your golf cart to some outdoor seating 
It's December 13th. Hey Siri, what's the temperature right now? It's 55 degrees outside. It's 55 degrees? Hey Siri, what's 55 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? Twelve point eight Celsius. Now I got the wind in my back, it's a lot more comfortable. We're going down Champions Forest Drive. We're kind of making a little, little circle back towards my neighborhood. Going past the these are live oak. This is water oak. Live oak, live oak, loblolly pine. This is a Yopon holly. The yellow one there, that's a water oak. And we're coming up on crescent, gro uh, crescent clover. We got friends. We have a friend from Sweden that lives in this neighborhood. She's been in Texas for 32 years, she says. There's a nice pond back in there. <clears throat> this is a Schumard oak. There's another one right here. Um, could be a nut all oak, but it's probably a Schumard. That's a sweet gum. You see behind the wall, those Italian cypresses. Perfect holiday berries off of the Yopon hollies. It's been rainy and it's been windy. And really people should be out walking their dogs right now because it could pick back up. Look at this nice, pretty, deep red. That's definitely a Schumard oak. This bright yellow, that's a crepe myrtle. Water oak, water oak, water oak, live oak, loblolly pine, Washington fan palm. <clears throat> Little gem magnolia, or some sort of brown back magnolia. Okay, cool. Well, I think we're going to come by after dark. <clears throat> and here we are back at North Point. Up here ahead, I'm going to show you the dog park. Palms. <clears throat> All right. Japanese blueberry, weeping willow, Bradford pear, hackberry, or sugarberry. Okay, this dog park was designed by my dear friend, renowned landscape architect, Rick Haddock. 
and we come here every day sometimes twice with Voss this would be the perfect time because there's nobody here uh, we do have a kind of a clique of friends who frequent the dog park and we'll <clears throat> We'll have this like golf cart happy hour where we'll drive social distancing masks we'll park out in front of their house and hang out for a little while and then we'll drive to the next house There's a skunk that lives in here. We see him every once in a while. How you doing? Kids will ride their bikes along here all the time. You know, during coronavirus, you gotta kick them out of the house. What was the temperature, 55? Hey Siri, what's the temperature right now? It's 55 degrees outside. 55. Hey Siri, what's the temperature in Toronto right now? In Toronto, Canada, it's 36 degrees. 36 degrees. So what's that? Two or three degrees Celsius? Hey Siri, what is 36 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? Point two degrees. Hey Siri, 55 Fahrenheit is how many Celsius? 55 degrees Fahrenheit is 12.8 degrees Celsius. 12.8. Okay, it's a little early for Christmas lights, but it is a, a great blustery day. It's a perfect fall day. And at the 13th of December, fall is in effect all the way until what, the 20th or 21st? So we still have another week of fall technically. Winter solstice is this time next week sometime. Anyway, let's let's fly through this neighborhood and then we'll wrap up this little tour. Pretty houses. You like them? Some are free garage. So that one's got a archway over the driveway. Oh, that one's got a pool. This one's got a port cocher and a detached garage. Again, most of the houses in this neighborhood are in the 350 to 550 thousand dollar price range. I'll link you to a video where I go through the prices of some of the homes in this neighborhood, which I just uploaded today. I recorded it on the 6th, so about a week ago.
flood in Harvey. really shown you a whole lot of variety in the flora here this part of town they, they don't really plant a, a very diverse palette loblolly pines live oaks water oaks a couple of varieties of red oak like schumard and not all Occasional pecan, Yopon holly, red bud, magnolia. Those are oleanders over there on the other side of the wall. See them? <clears throat> Crepe myrtles at the end caps of all the esplanades, almost all. This live oak was awesome until a couple of weeks ago when they pruned it. Some of the branches were touching the ground. there folks nice purple uh, uh, Bradford pear nice color and look at those right there that's crate myrtle and Bradford pear it's about the best fall color you're gonna get it's the 13th our first frost was on the first and that's the only frost we've had so far. And here we are, back to the rec center playground pool. Well, not really rec center, secondary playground and pool.